Well, hello guys. Um, yeah, <laughs> I forgot I was wearing a sheep head. Let me go ahead and take that off. Okay. Hello guys, and welcome to another Crafting Calden episode. And today we need to we need to do some stuff and explain some stuff, figure out some stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is come on out here, because a thing happened. It's it's over there <laughs> yeah so as you guys know we laid out all these shulker boxes just so that we would have materials to do this build but what we didn't really plan on was all of this just look at it just goes on and on and on and on so how did this happen well that's that's a great question and i'm so so glad that you guys asked how this happened so let's uh let's pop over and take a look at what we did so basically the first thing we did was we came over to the sugarcane farm and put in a path we went on the same design that we had already started for uh our out of the city paths just the diorite cobblestone uh what else is in there we've got uh <laughs> geez i'm blanking on a lot of it but it's most of the stone blocks and then we take lighting and we go throughout the lighting and because of our uh, custom uh, resource pack, we're able to use carpets that look like cobblestone and put them on top and cover it up. It, it actually ends up looking really, really good. But that was, uh, that was something that needed to be done and I'm, I'm glad it's done. So that's basically uh, one thing done, one task off the list. And it explains five of the shulker boxes that we have over there. Oh, it fell off the stage. Let me get back on. But what's the real reason for all of the shulker boxes and chests and resources and everything that I've collected over there? Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys next. I don't know if you remember from way, way back in the beginning, like before even this was built, way, 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 way long ago in the early days of crafting Calden, we built, okay. Well, that's not true. We didn't build. We started to build the sewers. Well, I finished them. So let's uh, let's check out that. So here we are in the Gallstock City sewers. Uh, this project started, like, like I said, way, way, almost at the beginning. When we started building the city. I went down. We needed resources. Mine everything out. Uh, it's a pretty large area. We are currently finishing up the second level and it was going to be three levels, but then I just realized that three levels was a lot. So there's a first level and a second level, uh, or an upper level and a lower level. We're on the upper level. <laughs> Sorry, just trying to orient myself to what's going on as we go through and finish building this. Uh, everything is just one basic design. There's very minimal lighting because we want stuff to spawn. There's a couple of sea lanterns tucked away in different areas and a few, uh, a few redstone lamps, I believe, or not redstone lamps, redstone torches, a couple of regular torches. But other than that, there's, there's not really a whole lot going on. Uh, the design is meant for things to spawn because when you go down and you go through, you want to actually fight and kill stuff and work your way through the whole thing. Uh, there's seven or eight different accesses right now built into this. We're going to end up, when we do everything up top and finish all that up, we're going to close them off, sort of. You'll be able to climb up from the sewers, but you won't actually be able to get on street level and you won't be able to go from street level down to the sewers. So you can climb the ladder, but it might be a ways. That's, uh, that's going to be done at a later time. Now. I don't, uh, I don't really have too much else left to say about this. Uh, it's all cobblestone, stone. Pretty much the whole thing has some water spread out throughout it. And yeah, I mean, it's it's big. It's really, really big. So let's just uh, skip uh, the music or at least make it a little louder and get right into it.
we need to fix this. So I think uh, I think what we're gonna do, let me just flip around. Oop, too many flips. One more flip. There we go. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna put everything in here, and hopefully it'll all fit, and we can put everything and make it nice and labeled. So let's uh, let's get that done. Well, you guys know me, and it wouldn't be one of my videos unless we had some sort of distraction involved. And basically, uh, basically, I'm going to blame Vic for this uh, this most recent distraction. Let's clear out some of this stuff randomly back into a chest, creating another chest monster within a chest monster, probably within a chest monster. Who knows? I don't know. There's a lot going on. Uh, let's pop outside. So as you can see, we have cleared out a decent amount of stuff. All of this stuff's gone. Uh, I want to show you guys something that I find absolutely hilarious. Oh, watch out for the creeper. Good thing we have creepers turned off, but we do need to fix that. Okay, let's come over here. I had to create a chest just for crafting benches. Seven. I have picked up seven crafting tables so far, and I've only gone about a third of the way through all the chests. So that, uh, that gives you an idea of how often I just get frustrated and make a crafting table. Uh, we need a we need one of these shulker boxes. Something I fell through it again. Okay. Let's take this one. And let's take our rockets. We're going to head over, over here, right here. Okay. There we go. Now, basically what this is, is, well, it says right here, it's the Crafting Calden Road Building Competition. The winner gets their road built, replacing all of the orange road markers across the city. What orange road markers? Well, if we fly way, way up. Oh, I only have seven rockets. You can see that we've mapped out an orange trail across the entire city, and this is where the main road is going to go. Now, if you watch Vic's videos, you'll see that he's turned this into a, uh, a sort of game. Oh, come on, die skeleton. There we go. And quick sleep. Yeah, so he's turned this into a game. And we're going to participate in this game. And it looks like we're going to be the first ones. So I believe there's a couple of rules. So vote for your favorite design, even if it's not yours. Everyone chips in to build the final product. That's the best prize ever. It, is it? You know what? It probably is. There are only three rules. Rule number one, scalable design, three to seven blocks. I think we have that. Three wide for road, five wide for road, decor, sidewalk, seven wide for road, decor, and sidewalk. Rule two, integrate a sewer hatch, uh, non-usable and usable. So what we're gonna do when we design our sewer hatch in this design, we're going to basically have a non-usable that's easily changeable to a usable. And then include a light source lamp in your build. First things first, shovel, not a pickaxe. And we need to take all this out. Okay. So now that that's out, let's put our shulker box right here. And I want I want to use this as our sidewalk block. It's a very, very easy block to get. And it looks interesting. So we'll lay that down. Next thing we're going to do is get this stuff right here. And we're just going to lay it out in a little bit of a randomized pattern. Dirt. 
and some stone. Just like this. Then, we're going to need this and some torches. Wow, I can't believe I forgot torches. Okay, I will be right back and get some torches. Okay, we're back. And what did I want the torches for? Well, I'm going to put some torches here, here, just like this. And I'm going to put these carpets on top. Oh, we need to change out a couple things. I think we need to put dirt here. And we need to get some more stone. And that's, uh, that's, I thought I would like it. I don't think I like it. No, I really don't. But one thing we could do, good thing there's uh, crafting tables all over the place, is we can make some half slabs. This is kind of a plan B. And we can do this. And it means that here's our path. And in certain areas, the road could be one lower or one higher. And then you would step up again. We'll just do this to show that, hey, you would step up where you need to. Now, one thing I want to do is take some wood because we're also going to do this strip and wood and see how it looks. Then I think we're going to need some signs to put down. Let's this. Yeah, so that actually kind of works. Do we have signs? Does anybody have signs? There must be some signs here somewhere. Well, I think we have the ability to make signs. Uh, we need six. Oh, and some signs. Wow, way too many signs. Got to stop shift clicking. So then, right here, we'll put road with dock. Road without dock. And then step up if needed. There, so that kind of explains what we have going on. Simple road design, the sidewalk on that side. We have this here as well. It looks like it's worn and weathered. So the next thing we need to put in, we need to clear this out, and we need to take this block out. And what we're going to do is put in our lamp post. We need this, this, this. I think that's everything that we're going to need. Ooh, where did all that stuff go in my inventory? So I think I want to go three high, put this on, and switch that to a night sensor. And that's not how you can take pull down. Neither is that. Shovel? Or is it a pickaxe? I guess it doesn't matter. So that's going to be our lamp post. Now I do have a couple other ideas that we could do, but this is the very, very basic lamp post. I actually kind of like it. I think it looks very simple. Now for the rest of it. Uh, please tell me there's more supplies in here.
think what we'll do is we will stick with this block. Just like this. And we're going to dig down one. We're going to put that in. Now, we need some buttons. Should be enough buttons. And we're going to need our iron trapdoor. There. So this means if it is at a, a proper in access, we can hit any one of these buttons and it will open this up. However, in this situation, it's not an actual access to the sewer, which means when we look down, it just looks dark. And this will add nice, interesting design. But in addition to this, we need a sewer access built into our road. Now I've already decided right away that this right here is going to be our in, which means this is going to get redesigned to match that sewer access over there with the buttons as an in, not the road access, because you can see we don't have orange here, which means this is not a proper road. Oh, I need to sleep. I just ran past a bed. No. Come on. <laughs> Hopefully I can get over here before anything spawns. There we go. That was uh, that was a little interesting. Let's uh, let's get another iron trap door. I think I need four. I think there was a whole stack of them. Perfect. Take the stack. And we'll fly on back. Yeah, basically that staircase is going to be the in. I haven't figured out or decided on the out. But that means the rest of the sewers can all be designed just like this. Or there's no issue. Let's say we have a on the side of the road sewer. And this is where I put these blocks in. Because now it'll match. Then we put that in. We're just going to put this on the lower part of it. You can see we have sewer access. Doesn't open. You get a little bit of a dip when you walk over it. That's fine. Now, scalability. So in this design, which I actually kind of like, I think it looks really good and it's really simple. Uh, if we need to go to five blocks, we basically take the outer edges of the sidewalk off. And if we need to go to three blocks, we take the sidewalk off altogether. And this is a three wide design. This, uh, this sewer entrance, I think, looks really good. It could blend in with any of the builds, but it's also, they're going to stand out. And then this lamp post. I feel like it might be missing something. I guess. Uh. I don't know. Then you know what? I I like it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Yeah. Let's take our shulker box back. And we need another sign. We're gonna put it right here and we're gonna say ja uh, Justice's build. And we're gonna, we need to name it. Call it the Warren Road Design. And that's, uh, that's basically, basically it. This is gonna be our entry. I like it. I hope you guys do too. If you do, let me know in the comments. Well, guys, that's uh, that's everything I have for this week. Uh, sorry there was nothing next week, or last week. Hopefully there's something next week. But I've been pretty busy lately, and I'm trying to do my best to get things done. I'm glad uh, I'm glad the sewers are done, and I'm glad that we got that path in at the sugarcane farm. 
hopefully we can do a little bit more building over here but I might look at uh I might look at finishing some other little stuff we'll see I guess you'll just have to tune in uh tune in next week so that's uh that's all I've got for today bye